Yeah, I mean, a game like today absolutely does motivate us for the next year. Um, I mean, as of right now, I'm not really looking to any place but now. Um, right now, I definitely feel for the seniors after hearing their speeches. Um, definitely hurts really bad being really tight with a lot of those guys. And um, just knowing that I'm not going to be able to go to work with them tomorrow um, is a feeling that I'm not quite over right now. But, um, of course, going forward, there's a lot of work we need to put in. And um, you know, I'm confident in the guys that we have um, you know, in that room. But uh, I guess all I have to say is just thank you so much to those seniors that just put in there in the last game. And um, they left us with such passion and such great advice and leadership. So I'm forever grateful to them. And we'll always be friends. Yeah, Brad said. Fast. I mean, it's hard to look at it to next year right now when we just kind of put everything on the field. But um, you know, when this passes, I'm sure that it, it'll drive us to no extent. Obviously, not the result you wanted, but you guys showed a lot of resiliency. I mean, Duke would go up by four, then you come right back with four of your own, and it was just a, a, a game of runs. Um, can you just speak on the resiliency that your team showed to even to the final whistle, not let Duke run away with us, and always seem to be always there right on their heels? I mean, our team just has an incredible drive to, to win and just fight. You know, we've been our ups and downs throughout the entire season. We've, we've lost to teams. We probably shouldn't have. We beat teams that maybe were better than us, you know, who knows, but we've always just fought each and every day and kind of just shown that, you know, we should be exactly where we are and trying to do everything we can. And so um, I was I was never surprised and, or I was never worried in, in the least amount that when we went down by four that, you know, everyone around me was going to pick us up and continue to battle like we've done each and every day. So, yeah, I mean, um, we have a lot of talented lacrosse players, but uh, we also just have a lot of great guys. Um, I mean, one of my best friends, Charlie Leonard, I mean, just to see the way that he comes in as a long stick midi as a freshman, and now he's best face off guy in the ACC. I mean, he just has my utmost respect, and just, you know, guys like that who just go to work every single day, and they don't complain, and all they want is best for this team. So when we look at the scoreboard and we're down four at any point in the game, I mean, like, you know, we look at each other and, you know, we always know that we have each other's backs, so especially if we're something like that. Uh, this is for both of them, but uh, what was, how did the dynamic change on offense when Ryder did come back to the line? I mean, Ryder is an incredible player. We've known, um, I mean, I've had the pleasure of playing with him for the past three years, and I've known that everything that he's capable of and um, so when, when he came back it, it wasn't anything new that we're putting in we didn't put in any new plays any new sets anything like that we just knew that Ryder you know always just takes attention he's, a, he's an incredible player like I said and he always just draws um, some some type of attention regardless of whether he has the ball or he doesn't so it opens up a lot of other stuff around all of us and I mean he makes us a better player just like everyone else on the field you know on and off the field they all made us better players. Yeah, um, Ryder's an unbelievable talent, but he's a competitor first. Uh, so I mean, I've never played with a kid who wants to win more than Ryder. Uh, so he could, he has cool goals. Um, you know, a lot of hype surrounding Ryder. Uh, he handles it so well, um, and I think that just speaks to you know, the type of kid he is. And he really, he just wants to win. It's that simple. So I mean, having him back. Um, on top of the talent that he brings is just like that fire and that energy and um, I mean he, he's like a little kid it's funny I mean he just it reminds me of when I play with him it just reminds me of when I was in like you know, middle school you know wanting to win that championship on a hot summer day you know tournament style and he just brings that that extra energy and fire that is just so fun to play with so kind of to piggyback on that I mean he just um, and you can see it in anything he does. You know, he's just always the most competitive kid out there. Um, you'd be playing, you know, FIFA against them, and he's calling you names and stuff. And just like he, it's he, his desire to win is just incredible. 
Kevin, same question from you. What, what does Ryder add when he's out there, and, and what did he show you today? I, I think he's got a, a unique skill set. He, 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 he draws a lot of attention. You know, when, when the ball gets in and out of his stick, you know, I mean, he just sees the field. He, he knows the plays to make, and he can make a lot of different plays. You know, they're, they're not, not everybody has the range of plays that, that they can make like he does. So, uh, you know, guys like that make people around them better. Any more questions for the student athletes? Okay. Yeah, if you want to take off your can. Thank you. Just talk about today's game. Two, two pretty evenly matched teams. One and one coming in. So there's no surprise we go to overtime, you know, to settle up on the season. I'm disappointed that we, you know, had the ball at the end of the game and, and couldn't find a way to, to put one in and, and, and you know, with with two timeouts, we, you know, we'd like to have thought we would have been able to find a way. But listen, they're a very good team, you know. We, we just didn't make enough plays. Any questions? I mean, kind of just to speak on that, but what, what do you feel like is the difference in games that he's especially against you where it just doesn't seem to be any discernible difference in his first year? Today, one play. It's 2010, one play. Yeah, that's what it is. Make that play, or you don't. Yeah, not, not, not for lack of want, right? I mean, our guys, our guys, you know, did a great job of hanging in. As you said, the, it wasn't an easy day. We were just kind of uphill, you know, for most of the day. And uh, but, but you know, we, we just didn't make enough plays. Any other questions? Thank you, Coach. All right.